box down to the bottom of the property. Just move them down a little bit. They can go down there a little. Clear things up. Those things make more sense and have the soil be more free of rocks. So, just throwing rocks right now. That's it. Throwing rocks. are birds in this tree. <clears throat> well, there were. I don't want to scare them off. I like the birds. And they axed down <clears throat> a little tree the other day. Because it was too, too, um, superfluous. This one looks like it just made it out of my property line, but I like it anyway. Very nice. It has birds in it. And I have to do a little experiment here with collecting a um, container of glass and two wine bottles. I'm going to have them sit like this, and sometimes my experiments just go nowhere, but I want to see if uh, the humidity during the night and morning will collect in the wine bottles and fill, or at least add some moisture to the glass, and so I'm going to be digging here, trying to dig here. digging because I want the uh, collection container of glass to be below ground and so that it won't get warm and reevaporate the water that it might collect. Who knows, right? It might just fill with dust and tomorrow in the next couple days I'll have to have dust. But yeah, the soil is very dry right now. It hasn't rained in at least weeks, so I don't know. At least the soil drains good. It's not just clay. There is clay in Mexico, so I can always bring some from another area close by. Not like that. More like that. Try to remember to check this. We'll see if there's any water in there. When I come in, I sure see that there's a lot of mist in the hills. So, I'm thinking it shouldn't be too hard to collect a little bit of moisture in here. And, of course, I didn't have to buy these things and have to buy some fancy device to collect moisture. Just using what was would have been basically garbage 
and making it into something useful. And tomorrow, we'll see what happens.